Hello, everybody. My name is Emir, and uh, welcome to another beautiful breakdown. Uh, this one is for the song called Tripwire, which has just been released on Monster Cat. And I got my wonderful host with me today, Mr. One Moody Boy. How you doing, Mr. Yeah, One Moody hi. Boy? Hi, everybody. Yeah, I'm back for another one. Back for another, another one. one. Another one. Reason being that he also uh, co-wrote in this track. We both uh, wrote this track together, and it was actually a little tidbit of fact. The first, uh, the first track that we wrote together, starting for this whole Emir project. So that's uh, that's good stuff. Good times. Good times. Yeah. Okay, what you're looking at is the mix project. I didn't want to open up the production project because I think I can probably explain to you a good majority of how most of these things were created anyway. And the mix, that the production project is just an absolute abysmal mess like it's horrible it's scary like the cpu is blasting at maximum i hear fans i hear terror i don't want to deal with it i'm tired that one's put it on the side we're good we're done Ugh. nice what do you want to start with uh, mr boo what do i want to start with yeah it's your project sir oh damn that's true we'll start we'll start with the beginning <laughs> <laughs> In the beginning. In the beginning, there was this. Whoa! So still. With looks I could kill. Could kill you. Yeah. Okay. Let's start with this very beginning section right over here. First thing to pop up in your ear, the gadar. The gadar. The gadar. Ah, yes. So, that guitar, we did a lot of little effects processing on it, as you can hear. At the beginning, it kind of does like like an, it, an inverted sweep mm. into it, right? That was, I think, the free guitar, the AGML2 acoustic classic. guitar. Yeah, 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 classic. classic. We used that one, and then what we did is we added a little bit of, like, distortion <clears> just to kind of puffing it up. Added some RC20 to lo-fi it up. And you got this bad boy. Did a little pitch shifting on it. That sounds very pitchy. Yeah. A little wobble. Make it sound really broken, right? And since it's not like a perfectly real guitar, it has like this very synthetic sound to it, right? Had a little filter going on throughout, all the way until this point, which is the, uh... The secrets you fire where you find the secrets right there <laughs> and then um other elements that we got going on we got ah the blisco cello beautiful ah do ah do mm. That leaves a taste in the mouth, doesn't I can it? Taste it. Mm. Very good, very good. So, Blisco Cello, for any of you guys that have already watched my breakdowns, those cellos, I love them from Felt Instrument. And I got that, I added some other strings as well in this section here. Ooh. It's got like a weird filtering. <gasps> That's so good. Lo-fi strings. Cut one second. Yeah. But I thought we were like looking for like things to like explain. Cause the, we don't know what we're gonna no, explain. No, we don't. <laughs> That's why I'm saying like, should we listen to things and then we can explain it? And then we add in some lo-fi rhythmic pads in there. Oh! All these beautiful little elements to kind of really shine things up, right? Bring in the guitar. Distorted. But what will help fill that? The piano. Noise. Listen to that. So the piano, listen to that. That is a felt piano as well. As you hear, 
a heck ton of noise. The noise is there to create a padding. Hmm. Whirly on top. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay. Nice. Whirly. Top. Cello. The on. noise is there. The noise is there. Don't forget to put the taste. Strings. Lo-fi. Beautiful. <laughs> Masterpiece. <laughs> Perfect. Another little sprinkle if you want to here. Listen to that. Right here. In context. Listen for it, listen for it. Wow. Oh. I, I never noticed it. You never noticed it? Until right now. <laughs> what else we got in here? Ah, uh, yes, the bass. So this one is a Moog sub bass, probably the mini V3 from Artoria. Fades in. And we got this Lie bass that's doing like some stereo imaging right there. Stereo work. Moog center. Slightly width. Width up. You got the Lie that grows. Mm. Yeah. All those pieces in together. Wow. I've never noticed that. <laughs> it's been there, buddy. It's been there. And then we get right to that next section. Ah, oh, but before that, we'll go to the vocals. Okay, so for the vocals, typical stuff. You got the main vocal over here doing the beauty. Nicely processed. Nicely auto-tuned by our wonderful one moody boy. Got some little sections of plates. Automation just to let it kind of shine. Those little moments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then have a little room, small room. Mm -hmm. Even got some doubles. If you notice in these vocal doubles, one thing I really like to do to kind of let the main vocal have like all of the most important aspects of it is get rid of all the S's. I get rid of some of the plosives because it's just going to flam when you have it with the plosives and S's from the main vocal coming from the center. So if you notice without those S's in the doubles, it sounds nice and clean, the main vocal. Warm hands, cold as there. See, like right there, warm hands. Hands, cold as there. It's been taken out from these doubles right here. Nice. We didn't need it. You don't need no S. What else we got? A vocal foreman that comes in here. Jeez. Got a lot of vocal tracks. A lot of vocals. Vocals is the main forefront of this one, I think, we had right? Good times with the vocals. Yeah, we did. After that, slap on a little uh, effects. We got this. That's it. That's all we need. That's all you ever need. <laughs> Look at all these. <laughs> <laughs> this is how we occupy space. This is <laughs> small little deep impact verbs. You gotta understand. Um. Silence is just as important as the actual. <laughs> <laughs> nah, these are like full stems and I didn't bother like properly cleaning them when I exported them. So you'll just see like a bunch of empty space, but obviously you see the ones that are being used. So you can hear this. this the instruments are very simple. The bass is pretty simple. Just two layers of bass and just a few layers of padding in the back. The vocals are the thing that's like really carrying this track through, right? At this moment, we don't have like anything that's really driving any rhythm. We just have the vocal being kind of like that, that drive. Then small little low perk here. Oh yeah. Little drive. Can barely hear. 
Now it's coming in. <laughs> and we got the effects here. What do we got? Oh, I love these. Classic. Bit of Hans Zimmer. Little Hans. Let's see what else we got. Getting into the pre-chorus. We got those guitars, right? So those were guitars that I recorded very horribly with my lefty guitar. Obviously, I don't know how to play guitar. And I quantize them. Just doing... And then like picking the right parts and just looping it. Doubled it. Put that underneath uh, the thing. Alright. Adding more rhythm to that section, because that section is kind of empty, right? more rhythm in there. After the pre-chorus, we go to the drop, right? Here's the drop. So, this, this, this idea basically came from the drop first. Like, I opened up Ableton. And, yes. uh, yeah, remember we opened, yeah, up, opened yeah, up Ableton? Yeah, 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 yeah. I had this little kind of like, uh, well, no, we had the melody actually, the mm -hmm. da -da 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 -da. so we did that, we slapped that, even as it was just a demo, I was just kind of like, da -da 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 -da. and then we went and I vocal chopped it in yeah. Ableton to try mm -hmm. out their sampler. From there, created this beep, bop, beep, beep, bop, beep, and originally it sounded a lot more. Um, gritty. It sounded like this originally. But, um, when we actually showed this to Monster Cat, they were kind of like, uh, it's a little too distorted, so can you bring it down a bit? And we were like, you, you know what? Yeah, you're right. It took me a bit, but, uh, yeah, yeah I agree with the, uh, at the end of yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's always better to have a cleaner lead melody than to yeah, have a yeah, non-clean yeah. melody, right? So we still kept some of the little distorted elements, as you can see. So if we go into just that that whole section, like just those vocals. Yeah, doing all the classic tricks of adding, adding reverbs in like the spaces and stuff and really kind of splice it up nice and nice to make it sound cool. Other than that, let me show you the actual instrumental. It's gorgeous. Listen to this stuff. We went all out, dude. All out. So we had the original guitar here. Yeah. Full rhythm. You know? Then we added the sub bass. Serum plug bass. Juno piano bass. It's just a layer of uh, my piano just kind of like being LFO to, to hell. And then the drums. Very active drums. So if I just show those alone. Lots of layers of snares, lots of layers of kicks and drum fills here and there. We have this perk loop. Ooh. Wow. Got some trap rolls in there. Like this. Okay, so 
this is when I first learned of Eliminate and his frequency shifting like technique and stuff. And I was just like super into it and I wanted to add a lot of it in. So I put that in. Nice. Remember the one over here? The hype. The these hats, without these hats, the song isn't the song. Listen to these hats alone. Crazy. Crazy. Without them, listen. The song is useless without those hats. Bring those hats in. There it is. Yes. Wow. And that's why we called those the hype hats because literally without them, there was absolutely no mm. hype to this track. Those things added all the hype, all the hype. It sucked. It sucked prior to the hype. <laughs> um, in terms of effects, we got nothing. Yes. We got this thing at the end. What the hell? <laughs> I extended the shit out of that. <laughs> it, it didn't drag long enough, so. It's true, yeah. This was a, a little ARP that I did with my uh, Minilog XD. And then, yeah, you added a bunch of reverb on to it. <laughs> so good. Because in the mix. You know, Yeah, it's like a little little extra bell. I really like that. It's a good, good, good idea, Mr. Von B. Just needed a little more tail. A little more tail. In the second half of the drums, as you can see, I added some ride. Ooh. That's all you need. And that's, that's that. And then obviously little sections where the vocal comes right back in the, the lead vocal, right? This guy. Yeah, just all those little bells and whistles to make it, you know, like super interesting to re-listen to a few times. And yeah, like the drop, fairly simple. Got the typical trap beat, driving guitars, hype as hell hats. <laughs> <laughs> and then after that, uh, we get to the second part. Yeah, this verse is an awesome, awesome verse. Yeah, favorite part. So we'll start, we'll stop with that, and uh, we'll just listen to the vocal just alone. Listen to that bad boy. Your taste are ivy lips, poison, just one kiss. Woo! Caught up in a web, couldn't go one night. Shriven on a beer, said it, I can't fight it. Yeah, dude. Nice, dude. So, obviously, crazy amount of processing yeah. and did additional processing even after I exported the processing. Added some extra formants, a little vocal doubler, more reverb. Obviously, of course, doubles as per usual. Just one kiss, cut up in a web, couldn't go one night. Tripping on a bitch, shut it off, can't fight it. She's got. It almost sounds like there's like a little low formant too in there. Mm -hmm. And then we got these guys over here. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know what those are. Those are just to accent the important words. Yes, sir. You know? This cut up in a web couldn't go one night. Shriven on a beer, said it off, can't fight it. She's got you locked inside. Oh, you yeah. Feel her come alive. Let me hear those harmonies. Oof. Yeah. Beautiful. Those high vocals. Mm. Third harmony in there. Nice. Low formant. Yeah, yes. dude. Pitch shifting for days. Let's check out the instrument. <laughs> <laughs> Bring back that guitar Bring that we're. Yeah, yeah, the weeble wobble. We got some whirly piano, same instruments kind of thing. Just doing some additional chops here and there. Ooh. Mm. 
There's something different though, isn't it? The guitars? Yeah. Did you hear that? A little bit of creepiness to this section. Yeah. That's in that guitar group over there. I think we probably just did some auto panning stuff. Got like a weird creepy guitar to just all pitch formatted and stuff. Because obviously you got to pitch form it, right? You got to pitch form it up. Pitch form it down. And then the bass. The bass is the most active part in this section, aside from the vocals. Listen to this stuff. Incorporating the elements from the uh, drop. Oh yeah, those little... There's this. Space is important. Yeah. The drums go for more of a lo-fi aesthetic here. Oh yeah, dude. Oh, that bounces. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, dude. So cool, so cool. Ooh. In the drums, we got this new additional pan loop over here. It's just pans, dude. We hired a bird to scratch on some, uh, some, pa some professional, pans. very well celebrated bird. So, yeah, I remember we were in the studio nice. and it was like, Ehh! the whole time, bird. Um, we got kick. Different kick from the drop kick. This kick is more like, it takes up more space. This one's a little bit quieter, less of the high end. Got that first snare. Very boxy, but it works really well compared to this more sharp kind of snare there. Low perks back in. Staple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we got these little drum fills here. I don't even know how we made that. What do we do for this? I don't know, dude. Might not even have been us. It might have been a sample. I have no clue. I have no clue. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. No idea. And we got these low rumbles here. Nice. Yeah. And they introduce us to the next section. I'm personally really proud of this next section. Oh. So, let me, let me, let me show you, let me show you. Uh, this is a, a thing that I've been conceptualizing as like a technique that I wanted to use for a long time. Listen to this gate. Oh, yeah. There's side chaining, right? Everybody knows like you, you go and you duck stuff to the, to the kick, like, you know, to get that kind of effect. But... Then there's also the concept of side chaining gates. It's the opposite where every time something hits, there's something that opens up and creates sound. So my goal over here was to create a section that followed exactly with the vocals. If you listen over here. So the goal there is that like, it almost sounds like it's part of the vocal and you hear like even the volume like alters with the, with the, yeah, with the vocal. I remember you were obsessing over oh, something I was, like that. I, I love this because I was, I was like, I thought it was the coolest thing because I, I, I don't often hear it happen in, yeah. in, in music production, but please correct me if I'm wrong and please show me if there's any other producers that does a lot of this 
gate side chaining stuff because I absolutely love it and I want to find cooler ways to incorporate it too. Uh, I think I also did it with the Coral of Death. No, I didn't. Wow. It sounds so broken. <laughs> Were these your vocals? Yeah. yeah. I'll see if I can find it. Maron, Maron, Maron. Maria, Maria, Maria. And we're back. This vocal thing, the choral of death. This. It's a choir that we recorded that was pitched down like a lot. We just made it sound like hell. Like this is the hellscape, but it's like kind of slightly beautiful and creepy. Mm. This is the original thing yeah. right here. This? Play this one, yeah. It's in there. Add in all the elements. Oh. Yeah. yeah, it does serve a purpose. Yes. Creates a world, mm -hmm. you know, with that very creepy world. Yeah. And obviously, what's creepier than adding in some whirly? Making that nice bell kind of sound. Mm -hmm. Silent Hills type beat. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is it Silent Hills? Kind of sounds like Silent Hills. Yeah. And then yeah, back to these gated drum, uh, gated things. Fully stacked. It was a bunch of sounds doing a bunch of things in arpeggiator, like some bass, all that. Add in a normal sub bass at this point. The bridge bass. This is high pass filtering. Giving some space there. Oh, so sexy. Other elements over here. Yeah, it's the vocal when it comes back in. A little vocal shout out. Like that. And behind all that, a very small little rhythm. Very simple stuff, really fun, creative, morphing elements, and I was really proud of those things. And of course, how can I forget, the Zedvox. Your classic, like, synthetic, harmonic stuff. And I remember, we, like, you spent a lot of time getting these harmonies, like, nice and nice. Yeah, we had a lot of stacks going on. There. We did, we did. Yeah. For any of you guys that are wondering how we did that, there's a little thing that you can do in Cubase where if you have like a, a chord or like a, a MIDI track, you can create chords obviously on the MIDI track and then you can select a specific audio, vocal audio, and then you can go to generate harmony voices. And you can choose how many you want to generate. You can choose up to four and you can reduce the vibrato strength and it just creates harmonies like that. Super quick, super easy, and I'm almost a thousand percent sure, almost, like maybe 999 percent sure that Zed did the same thing. That's why we call them the Zed Vox. Because you've heard him in his tracks like Stay, the, all you gotta do is stay a minute. You know, like that one. All you gotta do is stay a minute. Take your time. You know, like it's the exact same thing. Do the thing. Do the tea. <laughs> Do the tea. <laughs> Do the tea. Um, what is this little guy over here? <laughs> I guess, dude. That's it, man. Where is this? I guess this was so important. I guess. It was important. Oh my god. <laughs> because we were, <laughs> we were, we probably cut it. Yeah, we cut it. We just had to put it back in. <laughs> <laughs> this is so lazy. <laughs> That's it. Just <laughs> uh, <laughs> stitching. Yeah. Stitch job. So after this 
pre chorus y kind of thing, we go to obviously the final drop, which you guys know very well. Yeah. As per classic uh, Emir fashion, the second drop always has to be crazy. Obviously, the, the shining light of that, in my opinion, is the, the Johnny Sparkles guitars, you know? He's just super solid at doing <laughs> guitar stuff. And this is how it sounded without it before. Like... And it sounded cool, like, maybe we could have pulled off doing it like that, but there was something missing. I sent a message to John, and I asked him, Hey dude, uh, can you do something that sounds like... I literally sent him, like, a voice message, and he's like, I got you. Sends me this sick stuff, which I reverb, did a little bit of a extra processing on it, but... Dang. Ah, so sick. So he sent me the guitar. I think he used uh, Line 6 Helix as his uh, guitar amp sim. From there, I did, I think, a little bit of vocal doubling to stereo widen those guitars. Um, added a little bit of... Uh, Reverb or delay added a little bit of frequency shifting. I hear a little bit of frequency shifting did that little kind of like inverse effect at the beginning there Cut it in certain sections that I needed to put it all together and bing bang boop you got yourself a song Yeah oh. Sick sick dude those gets wow oh it creates so much tension because you got like the rising guitar bend you got the like bending down bass thing over here the oh no it's bending up oh and it's bending down a bit there so yeah the bass the bass is it's dirty <laughs> look, look. i got one two three four five i got six six bass a lot of bass. Six. I got six. six. I got six bass, buddy. I have six. I have six. Look at... I got six bass. Let's bring the bass down to one bass to hear what's going on. Lie bass drop. Not enough. Not enough. No, we needed more. You're right. Two bass. Slowly get in there. Yeah. A little buzzy. Okay. What, what, what? Pluck bass? Oh, yeah. Yeah. A little... Letting me, and then we got a little <laughs> Ju Juno bass. Barely hear it. It's doing something. More bass. more bass. Oh yeah, we need. They got that one that bends, and then uh, cyber, cyber bass. bass. Ah. That was that final piece. We got like every single type of distortion going on all at once, right in there. That's cyber bass, though. Crispy. That, put that with the wonderful Jano Git and... Wow! Oh, dude. Hell yeah. I'm gonna get... Sorry. I'm oh, gonna sorry. get... I'm gonna get... Gonna give up the bean there. And we're back one more time. Oh, oh, oh that, that didn't, no, that wasn't good. <laughs> you gotta get the slurping. Nice drums. Whoa. Oh yeah, this, this is my favorite part. Holy! I think you get some like shit. dubstep shit. Wait. Gotta be coming up. Yeah, yeah. There it is, the trap roll. 
Oh wow. Those drums are actually really sick. <laughs> okay. I don't know, man. I don't know anything we do. Let's do let's just check out those kicks. Ooh. Oh yeah, of course. Big effect swell. Right, right, right. Big effect swell. And then we got just the kick. The kick is huge. It sounds like I must have like clipped that, distorted it or something, because it sounds thick, dude. Put the hat in. The snares. Oh! Okay, the snares are many layers over here. Check this out. So it's got the, the original trap snare from the previous drop with the rattle, right? Add a little bit of high end. But then on every second one, we add a room clap to it. Wow. Trap roll over here. And then the pièce de résistance, the El Clapo, which is this uh, plugin that I have that just makes stadium sounding claps. It's awesome. Listen to this. Sounds like a stadium clap. Put that all together with the kick. Huge. With the cymbals now. With a noise ride. And the perks, which are the classic perks that we used throughout the track. With the trap rolls in there. And this short fill over here. Bringing the hype for the effects. <laughs> what do we got? We got this. What's this? <gasps> yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> oh, dude. Okay. This was something that we went on and on about keeping or not keeping the knife effect over here. Is that okay? What? I'd be curious to know what people think, though. Honestly, I've taken this from other producers where they're like, you want to throw in sometimes something that just kind of doesn't make sense to kind of throw off the listener a bit, but like, obviously it's just like a little thing. Like it's not something that throws off the listener all the time, but it's something that the listener can kind of question be like, why? Yeah. You, I remember you came, you came back several times asking like, do we need this? Do we not need this? Do we need this? <laughs> it just, I wasn't sure if it was interesting enough. Hmm. Not that it's not, I don't not like it. It's okay. Not the most inspired sound. I guess, like, when you compare it to the rest of the track, mm -hmm. that sounds so, like, complex and stuff. It felt rushed. It felt it rushed? It felt rushed. I don't know. I I like it. We kept it. Because I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever he says. You know, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just fucking moody out here, dude. I'm just I'll upset. Like this is one of those things where we will just obsess and it'll just kill efficiency and, and productivity. So we like, just said, screw it. We just get, yeah, yeah. right away with it. Because you have to, right? At some point, you have to just say, screw it. And it was something. I liked it. So, yeah. And then after that, reintroduced the... Keeps on going. What's this little flick over here? Nice. Yeah. <laughs> a flick. Add a flick. Throw it in. Why not? Put flick here, put flick there. We also had this uh, little drop melody here. Mm. You know? Kind of chop it all in so you hear it with that and with the bass and with whatever elements was going on over here. There's a ding? There's a little ding. 
How much of a ding? Oh, it was an inverted ding. Oh, uh, because I think we act had that as a ding before. Buda, buda, bing. Yeah, we did, and we said it no. sounded not good. It so sounded like the cheesy, microwave was ready, cheesy. dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so then uh, we go to here. So we had this guitar going on, brought it back in, brought in these new things, these chopped ahs, which were super fun. That's like a little back thing. Some vocals and effects to build it up. Sounds Whoa. sick, huh? All those builds up and rises. Rises? My work. Short fill. Nice. Vocal chops. All those little elements just all pieced together. Wow. And then finally... That's it. That's the track. It's about 114, eight, no, it's, it's about 83 tracks in total. It's not as big as the other ones. Wow. So I want to thank Monster Cat. Huge thank, uh, thank you to them because without them, this track wouldn't be out. Thank you to the new Monster Cat community that, uh, that we're a part of now where you guys are actually really enjoying this track and it means the absolute world to to me and to one moody boy so thank you guys from the bottom of our hearts and thank you obviously to the community that has been with us all these months and has finally seen how far the music can go and obviously it's going to keep on going further it's uh, we ain't going to stop you know we got a bunch of other stuff that we're working on and there's, there's a lot that was learned this year that I realized it's it's hard to be efficient in music sometimes. <laughs> We're going to get it. We're going to get it. You know? But uh, next year is going to be really awesome. And uh, I can't wait for you guys to see what comes up. So thank you so much. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to go check out One Moody Boy, you just type in uh, One Moody Boy on Instagram. You also got a nice sick track on SoundCloud. It's a beautiful little lullaby. It's called Say Anything. Say it's Anything. It's not that interesting. What are you saying? It puts you to bed, all right. It does. That's that's a good little loop for uh, for the calm days, you know. <laughs> if you're looking for like craving and tripwire, yeah. you're not gonna get it on my page, but uh. <laughs> that's okay. I'm gonna put the music in here, so what you're hearing right now is a little one moody boy bit for the end. Yeah. So feel free to go check him out. I don't know when he'll make new music, but. When. <laughs> I'm sorry. The shade, dude. I didn't mean to hit you, Doug. Like. I don't know when he's going to get on that. I don't know, dude. Whenever I feel. Whenever I feel like it, dude. Can't tell me what to do. Be on the spot like that. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. Uh, keep listening to Tripwire, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Woo hoo hoo!